or yesterday apparently was the day to decide it's time to advance your presidential campaign. And we'll, you'll get the point in just a second. Let's start with reason number one. John Podesta, the former Clinton chief of staff, Bill Clinton chief of staff, now President Obama's climate change advisor, senior advisor, he's leaving next month to be there. The question is if Hillary Clinton runs for president, but you don't leave a senior job at the White House unless you have a little private information that she's going to run for president, right? Yeah, this, I mean, this has been the plan for a while. John Podesta came to the White House, said he would stay a year, then he said he would stay till after the State of the Union. I think what's most interesting is that this plan is actually in motion now. It's funny, though, you know, you still talk to people and you still hear them say, well, I'm going to work for Hillary if there's a campaign, if she decides to run for president. At the same time, people do not start coalescing around a person like Hillary Clinton unless they know that this campaign is going to move forward. It's just a matter of when she makes this officially official. Uh, officially official, but jo John Podesta leaving, Jonathan Martin tells me that he sort of knows, he has a better understanding of the calendar uh, when she will make it official than we do. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, there is this drawn out bit of, of sort of theater in terms of all of us having to pretend that this is all hypothetical when you've got actual <laughs> pieces in motion. The news, I think, in the Podesta move, and, and again, as Julie said, this has been long expected, is that it's a signal to the Democratic Party that this Hillary campaign is going to be different. We're going to have more structure. We're going to have somebody on top of the sort of org chart who is a pro, who's been in politics for really 40 years working on campaigns. And I, I think that's what this is. John Podesta is known around Washington. He's known among Democrats nationally. And this is not going to be the sort of, you know, faction riven campaign of 08. Has a lot of credibility, too, with the liberal base. He founded the Center for American Progress, a think tank here in town. Uh, the Absolutely. questions about Hillary Clinton have come from the liberal base.